So here's what I ended up with for um, the motor assembly. I basically took a, a vacuum that I got off of Craigslist for free. Um, just called the folks and just went and picked it up and then I just took it all apart. It's just an old vacuum and I got the, the motor out of it. Um, basically disassembled everything. A little hold down bracket. Side was the, uh, the belt driven side and I modified a little pulley and just basically just pressed it on there and that went real good. I actually took part of the belt um, drive itself from inside the vacuum and I just cut off a little piece in there. Those belts are really strong and I just put a little bracket here for a spindle and um, my lever arm connected my pole to it on the back side there with a little bracket. found a little half inch electrical um, uh, conduit connector fit right in my female fitting there and then just made a little bracket up top there to go into my little wood wood arm there. And the connector piece here and a little I just cut that out of wood real quick and used a 45 I think it was a I don't know there was somewhere between 30 45 degree angle on my table saw and put in a couple of guides in there and then just, just spun that wheel around there and made a nice little groove in my in my um, just a homemade pulley. If this works if this actually works I will um, possibly turn these into metal and stuff and make them a little more permanent and everything. So this is just all prototype stage and I had an old bracket from an old dishwasher I just cut out here when it was already bent steel here and it just made a really nice strong bracket for the motor. It's connected it on real good. Okay so I'm running just the, the final test on my mechanical pump and um, sparge system here. Um, I've got it filled up and draining out right now but I'll spark it up here in just a second. Basically have my little um, uh, sparging tube coming through and mechanical pump which is all <laughs> homemade and probably the longest version of a uh, way to make this thing work than uh, anybody's ever tried but uh, I've been working on this for a couple of weeks getting it all together. Let's see if I can see not. This is the tube that you saw in the video earlier um, down inside. Um, you won't be able to see that with the dark. But um, dishwater high heat tube here to, to run my supply and then drain right back down in to the kettle. And uh, of course you saw this system earlier. Um, I now have my air, air control that runs my burner. Um, I also have the, uh, the motor the vacuum motor for my mechanical pump plugged into that so when I control this it kind of controls both and later on I'll probably have to separate two and put another control valve over here and splice that electrical up and so I got separate controls but it seems to be working pretty good right now so I'll get it fired up um, water inside the kettle right now is 160 water inside here is just a little over just about 150 and it's just finished draining out so I'll get it fired up and then we'll continue on